Good popping. Roger Ruthie Cool. Got a little break here at the gig to talk about Earl Spence and uh, Terrence Crawford, the fight. And not just the fight, the politics behind the people who make predictions and start backing up. Like my man Ego said, check out his channel, Ego Boxing. And uh, man, it's crazy, man. It's all over the place. I think people got dementia or something. <laughs> Well, these cats got dementia. Because it's like they don't know where they want to be. I got caught up in a situation yesterday in checking out Bernard Hopkins and, and friggin', what's the boy name? I, don't even, I never thought he was that good. Beat Manny Pacquiao. What's his name? Run his mouth all the time on, uh, on ESPN. He's a Bob Arum lackey. Uh, whatever, man. So, and... What's the guy who Jones fought all the time? He, he's another cat, man. These, these guys, man, be tripping. So this is where I'm at with. We just saw that Javante Tank Davis is no longer the face of boxing. It does, he's not the face of boxing. I don't know why they ever thought a brother from freaking Baltimore would be the face of boxing. He's a, he's a boxer. He a man, but he's not the face of boxing. There's nowhere in the world Caucasians, Europeans who run anything about boxing or anything in boxing that's going to make him the face of boxing. It's just going to happen. Now, did they frim flam him and put him in jail and he tried to do his own thing and all this stuff and now he got locked up a little bit more, whatever it is? I don't know what it is. All I know is he ain't going to be no face of boxing. So now, since this fight right here coming up, July 29th between Spence and Crawford, is supposed to be the legacy fight. It's supposed to be the fight of the... Three decades since since Hagler Hearns and uh, um, Durant Leonard, they're just supposed to be on that level of fighting, and they don't want who to be the face of boxing out of this. You know they don't want Spence to be face of boxing. Here it is. Here's the politics, and this is how it goes. If Spence wins, Everybody's going to be like, oh, snap. No matter how he wins, if you not even if you knock Crawford out clean, if you get a real good, clean decision, whatever, he still ain't going to be the man. Everybody's going to be demanding that he fight Crawford again, and he ain't got to fight nothing. He's going to get that belt, and he booking. He ain't got to fight him no more, and vice versa, if that's the case. I'm saying I'm down with Spence. I never did like Crawford. I'm going to keep it real with you. I never liked the way he fight. I don't, I don't like the way he roll. I don't like the way he step. Well, Rod, well, eh, well, why you like why you like Spence? He's in a car accident, running from some cats who was trying to vick him, you know, and murk him, and he was rolling out. Does everybody know the politics behind that crash? One day he was just flying down the street in a Ferrari just because he felt as though he wanted to just be flying. He was getting chased by somebody. So that's what that was. He got hooked up in a little bit of something, something with some rappers. Cats he like to hang out with, BZ and all them boys. And he probably got caught up in a little something, man. So the boy got caught up in an the accident. Then, you know, he, he he messed up himself, though, hanging out with Broner. But Broner, man, could have been, should have been, ain't never going to be. I mean, he was for a minute. Broner getting drunk, so he hanging around with Broner. They out partying whatsoever. I mean, hey, Caucasian people party, too. So the Caucasian old media, whatever they want to call them, whatever the joint is, the cats who really run, Hispanics don't like colored people anyway. They, they don't even want them to have their belts. WBC would love a, a Mexican or a Hispanic to have that belt instead of a black person, but it's just the way it is. It's racism, it's politics, all this stuff is entwined into this fight, and they can't have Spence win this fight. Because he's a drunkard. Oh yeah! Oh, you know he hang out, get drunk. You got all these, got all these videos. Him drunk he in the crib. Oh, so 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 Caucasians and Europeans don't get drunk. Hispanics and freaking Puerto Ricans and Dominicans don't get drunk. Yeah, whether they short or not, I don't know. But do, they ain't get, they don't have enough attention for anybody to care about them getting drunk. You gonna follow Spence? Cause Spence is who Spence is. So the boy wanna take on the taste or two. Let me take on the taste. I'm doing his thing. He got in there risk his life to fight. And by the bing by boom, and you want to get on his, because he want to have some some suds and drink some drinky drink with his homies. Now, 
if you're out there and being totally responsible like freaking Broner, then that's something totally different. And because you hang around with the company you keep, a lot of y'all will be bums along with the bums you hang out with. So I don't care about all you boxing cats, all the dudes on here clamoring, oh, yeah, uh, blah, blah, Crawford, the spins be getting drunky, alcoholic, and whatever, whatever. Man, get out of here. You corny with that because you probably alcoholic too. So nobody want to hear that. You just a broke alcoholic, broke alcoholic, broke. Well, Spence is a rich alcoholic, okay? Do what he want to do. That's his thing. And if all the else fails, he end up like Broner and lose all his money. It's one thing. Now let's get the squeaky clean Crawford. Oh, ever since 70. Yeah, what happened? How you get caught up in a shootout? It was a straight, it was a straight bullet shootout. Was it really a straight bullet shootout? His mama admitted that. Oh, his mama. Yeah, I told him, if anybody can beat my son, $10. He said he was a thug. So is he the space? Well, yeah, but that was when he was growing up, Raj. That was a long time ago when he was growing up. And then about dip, 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 bing, bang. Whatever, whatever. He was in the streets, too. He had many in the streets. So now you got two street boys. Whether you got a street boy who did it when he got lots and lots of money, or you the street boy when you broke, didn't know where your next meal was coming from because your mom was on drugs or something. I don't know. Was mom on drugs? I don't know what it was. Hair it is. You know, it's tanks. Take mine was, you know, one that stuff, whatever. You know, I don't know if Chance mine was on it. I ain't going to say that because I'm, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is he didn't grow up in the greatest of places. And if I kind of made, say, I don't know if his mother was drug addict or drunk or anything. I have no idea. What I'm saying is everybody come from somewhere. Nobody come up not being spotted by nothing. You're going to have something in the back of your life. So you can't be putting the face of boxing on anybody. There's no face of boxing. It's whoever's the best boss. Pound for pound, man, get out of here. That's subjected to all friggin' Bob Aaron fighters. You can't be pound for pound unless you're a Bob Aaron fighter. What happened to friggin' Lomachenko? Whether he lost, whether he won the last fight, don't matter. They put that boy, accelerated him. He's the greatest fighter ever. Had seven fights, won one fight. He didn't fight nobody. The dude he fought wasn't even that good when he got his title. Not really that good, for real, for real. Lomachenko's the greatest. Because it's an Aram thing. Aram is a racist. He even said, what did he say to Crawford? I can't make no money with Crawford. I'd rather sell all my cribs in Florida or Las Vegas or Cali, wherever he got his freaking whole house. I mean, I said, I don't use no language. Wherever he got them freaking chicks that he got to be half naked standing behind him and standing behind the fighters, you know he's getting some work. Get out of here, man. Aram is dirty. He's dirty to the core. He ain't no saint. Nobody no saint nowhere. Ain't nobody a saint in boxing. Ain't no saints when it comes to sanctioning bodies in boxing. Ain't nobody no promoters boxing. Ain't no tri nobody no saints in this joint. Just fight the fight and shut up. And for and man, I can't stand for no Hopkins, man. He an embarrassment to Philly. He just like the regular old Philly cat though. Get a little money and now you want to relocate. So, oh, that's what I'm about to do. I'm just saying in his position, go hook up with Golden Boy. So he's gonna be. Golden Boy East Coast. He can't talk half the time. He's just flip flap slurring over words, trying to use words like he read a dictionary, like when he was in prison. You know, you can start when you get smart, you're in prison. And you start knowing the laws and all that stuff. Man, Bernard Hopkins is like a wet freaking dictionary. Now, what's up, bro? Oh, Spence. Oh, what happened? Try to rub some freaking garbage cream on tank? Come back trying to put some freaking hormone stuff on the on the board back at his hand like that and then rubbed his back. Cause they're a freaking cheater. Bernard Hobson was dirty. He was dirty in prison. He was dirty when he got out of prison. He just start grinding people down and he start dirt fighting dirty. He has a dirty fighter with a dirty mouth, with a dirty deep a pre preposition. That's what he does. He a cheater. Now, well, what happened? I believe, I believe he ducked out of the Pacquiao fight because, you know, he didn't have a detached retina. Couldn't find he had a detached retina. Bernard, Bernard Hopkins is a freaking embarrassment to Philly, man, for anybody who got a bit of sense. Can't come around, walk around me, man. Get up out of here. Ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. So all these cats, you can be with Spitz or you can be with Crawford. I don't care. But have a, have a justification and a real sound reasoning as to why you picking somebody. And stop being all over the place. Stop being bums. Stop being swaggers. Just be yourself. Pick it right. Pick. Earl. Knockout. Your boy going down. That's all I got to say. And stop capping.
Oh, yo, stop the cat. Stop the cat.